<laughs> Good morning, Positive Astros. The time is now 8.40. Today is Thursday, March 28, 2019. My name is Carson. My name is Faith. And welcome to Channel 5 News. Thought for the day. Remember to be kind today and every day. Now we'll listen to the news with a bunch of relations and the school spot day. Please dance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge today to do my best. With a great attitude, I will progress. I promise to obey the rules and own my choices each day in school. I'll respect myself and others, too, and work hard to constantly improve. I am committed to learn all I can. I am in charge of my life. And now back to the anchors. Thank you, Jamie. Today's announcements. Thursday, March 28th, second grade waiting trip check. Girls on the Run practice. K-Kids meeting in room 219 at 3 p.m. Now over to Mr. Butso for the word, Miss Talon for the words of wisdom. Good morning, Positive Astros. I don't know how many positive words of wisdom I have this morning like Mrs. Sturbutzel typically does, but I'm here for a couple of reasons this morning. First of all, Eliana, do you have it straight on me, the camera? Okay. I'm here to announce the top 10 temperance. I must apologize because I did tell a few of you that I would be here yesterday, but I was off campus for meetings. So this is hot off the press. Top 10 in reading, K through 5, for the entire year. This is not about the AR book bash. This is for the entire year. So starting with kindergarten, we have number 10 is Elijah LaFail. Number 9, we have a four-way tie. We have Jocelyn Ward, Demoya Richards, Addison Berriman, and Hor Memon. We have two in eighth place. We have Sophia Grunert, Nevaeh Parsons. In seventh, we have Walker Seifert. Number six is Lucas Heyman. Number five is Brendan Worley. Number four is Christopher Listen. Number three, fifth graders, I want you to listen to this. Third, gra er, third place in kindergarten, 81 points, Etta Burkai. Second place is Ava Welsh. She has 98 points. And number one, is Addison Honoree, and she has 191 points in kindergarten. I cannot even imagine how many books she reads every day. In first grade, 10th place, Xavier Joseph. Okay, Nevaeh, I'm going to try to get this right. We have a, a tie. In ninth place, we have Nevaeh Seswick, and I think I got that right because there's no shh because we always go over that. Seswick, you need to let me know if I said that right. And we also have Aaliyah Anderson. In eighth place, three-way tie, Josiah Rosario, Kenji Bui, um, and Allison Hazeltine. Number seven is Riley Sylvester. Number six is Eliza Carter. Number five, Serenity Robbins. Also in fifth place is Mason Daly. In fourth place, we have C.J. Baker. Number three is Aaron Hall. He has 88 points. Number two is Daniel Duran. He has 93 points. And num number one, and this has been a hot competition in first grade, we have Olivia, Olivia Goins Paget, and she has 99 points. I'm sure, Olivia, since I printed this two days ago, you're now over 100 points. In second grade, again, a hot competition. In 10th place, we have Rosemary Strickland. Number nine is Julianis Reyes. Number eight is Shimoya McCalla. Number seven is Nehemiah LaFail. Number six is Colin Mosier. Number five is Jaden White Capco. Number four is Alec Burrell. Number three is Ava Pellegrino with 130 points. Number two is Candon Ziegelbauer with 138 points. And number one, she's moved back into first place, Emma Vanna with 152 points. Congratulations. In third grade, 10th place, we have Isabella Miro. Number nine is Jade Lynn Hurd. Number eight is Michaela Toth. Number seven, Isaac Yurdy. Number six is Max Brown. Number five is Corinne Leahy. Number four is Colin Davis. Number three is Valerie Magalenis with 198 points. Number two is Chase Honoree with 276 points. And number one is Temperance Moore with 318 points. Congratulations. In fourth grade, 10th place, Isabella Clemente. Number nine is Jillian Coleman. Number eight, Amani McKenzie. Number seven, Connor Sylvester. Number six is Jack 
Leslie, number five, is Joaquin Rivera. Number four, Barrera Memon. And number three with 322 points is Caleb Ziegelbauer. Number two, 357 points is Jacob Green. And number one is Mr. Charles Glenucky. Someone said, of course, Carson knows. <laughs> 629 points. Amazing job. In fifth grade, there's a lot of reading going on in fifth grade. We have in 10th place, Yanni Behold. We have ninth, Leah Burrell. Number eight is Jonathan Barrera Cortez. Number seven is Claire Sunter. Number six is Asish Panacal. Number five is Olivia, Olivia Tollison. Number four is James Schaefer. Number three is Josie Freeman. Number uh, And Josie, you have 413 points. Number two is Levi Donovan, 594 points. And number one, Talib Memon with 847 points. Talib, I bet your goal is to reach 1,000 points this year. You're doing an excellent job. Positive Astros, when I see you out in the hallways, when I see you in the cafeteria, when I see you at parent pickup, it should not matter. I should see a book in your hand. I should not hear, I don't have a book. Because you know what that tells me? We aren't being very proactive. And proactive means that you prepare ahead of time because you're in charge of your life's plan. That means that you have got to begin with the end in mind and ensure that there is at least one to two books in your backpack at all times that you have not read previously. Okay, I know Mrs. Strabutzel is coming over too, but I want to introduce my friend. His name is Mr. Matt. He is from the Boy Scouts of America, and he's here to talk to our boys this morning. Hey, everybody. So how many of you have heard of the Cub Scouts? Well, that's a lot of you. That's awesome. Uh, so how many of you like to go swimming? How many of you like to go canoeing or camping? Or learning how to cook. Well, you can do all these things with the Cub Scouts. And the fifth graders, for you, you're the top of the class now. That means you're going on to troop level. Um, if you're interested in rock climbing or going away and learning how to whitewater raft and all that fun stuff, we'll get some flyers to you this upcoming week and you could take them home to your parents and It'll tell you where you can meet to go do all this fun stuff. But um, if, if you have any questions, I'll have my contact information on there, and I can answer any questions that you may have. But thank you guys for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're Mr. All right. Good morning, my positive Astros. So we've been talking this week about accepting. So for accepting, we are reading The Judgmental Flower. So yesterday we talked about how this blue flower didn't like a purple flower in the flower garden. And then his mom was talking about how the water is flower respectful and how the wind is flower respectful and even how the sun shines on everyone. Okay, so now we're going to pick up where we left off. Do the bees visit purple like they visit you? Yes, Mom, but bees are colorblind. No, son. Bees are color respectful. You can learn a lot from bees. Bees visit every color. They respect each flower for what's on the inside. Each color is as good as all the others. Oh. So they're accepting of all the different colors. So if purple has roots and drinks the same water as you do and dances in the wind and smiles at the sun and gets buzzed by bees, he must be a lot like you. Hmm. Well, I still don't like him. Well, why not? Because he's different, he's purple, and he shouldn't even be growing in this flower patch. But how can you dislike someone you don't even know? Huh. Son, I think you are growing in the wrong direction. When it comes to our petals, there is no right or wrong. Only different and different is beautiful like the notes you hear in a song. Somebody taught you to be judgmental. 
You've learned how to feel this way, but now is the time to open your heart. Purple's different, and that's okay. You may feel unsure when you see a flower whose petals are not blue, but the world would be very boring if all the flowers were just like you. Now, if you were looking, this is the world and everybody looking the same. And I talked about that the other day about if we were all blue, it'd be pretty boring. It is pretty boring. There's no pop there. Okay. There are differences in all of us and on the, on the inside and the out. Learning how to be flower respectful is what the world should be about. It is time to grow in a different direction, and knowledge is the key. Learning all you can about differences, and then you will start to see. You can stop being judgmental if you can learn to celebrate how every flower is unique, and that makes a garden great. And that's the same for all of you guys. None of us are the same, and we need to be accepting of everybody's differences and learn about them. Because they're what make you amazing. You and Purple need to learn to grow alongside each other. Recognize and respect the differences you have and get along with one another. But that's not the way it is now. And that's not the way it used to be either. Hmm. True, you're right. But... All the flowers need to start growing in the right direction. We all need to grow up. I'm going to stop right there for today. Okay? But when we're accepting of others who have differences from us, we are acting more grown up. Okay? And even some grown ups aren't very accepting sometimes, and they need to grow up too. Because our differences are what make us unique and special. And I like each and every one of you just the way you are. So, positive Astros, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Now back to our anchors. Thank you, Mr. Butzel. This week's announcements. Friday, March 29th, PPC meeting. 10.20 a.m., code red drill. Have a great day. Respect yourself and others today and every day. Thank you. Good morning, Positive Astros. I need my birthday princess to come over. Tell us your name. Can you see her, honey? Can you see her face? You want to sit next to me, Haley, since she's so... Haley, tell us your name. Haley. Oh, it's Haley. <laughs> Hi, Haley. <laughs> Who's your teacher? Miss Carrion. And how old are you? Ten. Ten years old, everybody. There it is. All right, so Haley, you want a chicken dance sitting down or standing up? It's up to you. Standing up is great. So here we go, camera person. And get ready, get set, go. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. Please get a shell and a dragon tear. Enjoy your birthday. And Haley, get a book at the, in the office. Do you know where to go? Okay, great. All right, everyone have a great day. By the way, fifth grade specials this morning. The fifth grade specials are all meeting in the cafeteria today. We have a very special presentation for you today. So if you're a fifth grader and today for specials, we are meeting in the cafeteria for a special presentation. All right, I hope we enjoy it and have a great day. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Miss Morrison. Lunch for today. Cheese or pepperoni pizza, crisp salad, mixed veggies, raisins, or choice of fruit, milk. Breakfast for tomorrow. Turkey, sausage, omelet with choice of cereal, or cinnamon roll, oatmeal, milk, fat milk. Now over to Damien with the weather report. Today, mostly sunny. 81 degrees high, 57 degrees low, 0% chance of rain. Tomorrow, mostly sunny. 82 degrees high, 58 degrees low, 10% chance of rain. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Damien. Birthdays for today. Haley Eldridge, Neve Luther. Happy birthday, Positive Astros. And, and thank, thank you, you for, for watching, watching Channel 5, 5 News. We will see you again tomorrow at 840. Have a thoughtful Thursday. Thursday.
Bye.